Hey, this is Dan Jimenez with Engearment, and we're bringing you another gear review. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Case Kinzua Folding Tonto Blade Everyday Carry Knife. All right, so let's open it up. Here we have the case box for the Kinzua Tonto Blade. This is, it says OD green anodized aluminum. Uh, it looks a little bit more black to me. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm a little colorblind, but either way, really cool color, really nice looking presentation. On the case knife on, it has this little nub to help to open the knife. It'll be cool, I'll show you that in a second. There is a clip to carry in your pocket. It's offset to one side for a deep carry, so the majority of the knife is gonna be in your pocket, and just this little part will be sticking out, so it stays in a little bit better that way. Also, these are reversible, so you can switch them around to the other side. Uh, this way, if you're left hand carry or right hand carry, uh, whatever pocket you want to put it in. Pulling this or putting pressure on this nub down allows the knife to open. Looks really cool, really nice. I love the Tonto blade, uh, which is this portion right here. It's what makes it a Tonto. The retention is the side of the knife just coming in and preventing it from closing. So in order to close it, you know, give a little push to the outside, release it, and then it goes right back in. All right, so the blade. The blade is made out of S35VN steel. It's a carbon-based steel that has some vanadium and nibonium added to it. The reasoning behind it is It'll make it tougher, a tougher steel, but the downside of a tougher steel is it usually has less wear resistance, so it can't keep an edge as well. So with this carbon steel, it's a really good blend of both. It doesn't sacrifice wear resistance, and it's a really hard steel. So I've only heard good things about it. Yeah, it is a double bevel grind. I don't know if you can really see that there. Uh, makes it a little bit sharper of an edge. Helps a little bit more with the edge retention. Uh, yeah, great for an everyday carry knife. As you can see, completely straight, not serrated at any point, but it is a very sharp knife. Two more features about this knife I really like is that nub that helped me unfold the knife also works as a finger guard, which is awesome. Um, keeping it kind of out of the way from anything you're doing. And the back of it has some of these ridges. It's a really flat surface and it's 90 degrees to the side of it. So using it for like flint and steel, if you have a piece of flint or a ferro rod, uh, that 90 degree angle will help to uh, actually be able to use this for striking. Also like a little bit of a thick back. So using for batoning, if you're taking a stick or a rock, hitting the back of this, into to a piece of wood. These little ridges right here provide a little extra grip and control if you're doing some kind of fine knife work, you know, peeling an apple, something like that, uh, or woodworking, carving a stick or something to that effect. All right, now let's see how it cuts. So for the cut test, I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. It's an everyday carry knife. Basically, we're gonna use it to do some everyday things. I got a letter right here. Let's open it up. Let's see. Pretty quick and easy. Do the cut paper test. So people like to see how sharp a knife is. Went through two sides of the envelope in one easy motion. I've got string. This is 
just some cheap string, but I know a lot of times people have issues with cutting through string. I know me with some of my everyday carry knives, like something as simple as this is actually easier to use scissors with, but this knife, as you can see, pretty easy, not much resistance on it and cuts right through. Aluminum can, not much pressure. Pretty easy to cut. Knife looks pretty good. And then last thing I'm gonna do is cardboard. Really easy, cuts really well. Not much pressure, awesome. So there you have it. This knife cuts really well. It's got a good edge on it. Um, the type of steel that it uses and the way it's beveled, it should hold its edge for a really long time. I've had this knife maybe about a month. Um, I don't abuse it. I usually take care of my toys um, and my tools, but uh, I do use it every day. Use it to cut things like you saw there uh, and anything else that I come across. I really enjoy this knife. It's beautiful, well-made. Really cool that it has easy uh, opening capabilities, awesome retention in the open position, which is great for you know being a safe knife. Knife feels super sturdy. The one thing I would like uh, an improvement on, if I were to you know have my way, is this retention clip. As you can see there's a little bit of a gap there. Uh, totally perfect for w when you wear jeans, um, something like that. It stays really well, but just that opening is just a little bit big. If you're wearing, you know, more of like the uh, adventure style pants, like a climbing pant or something like that, it's a little bit thinner material. And because of that, sometimes this doesn't stay all that well clipped uh, to my pocket. But like I said earlier, because it has this really deep seat in it that usually just the weight of the knife holds itself in place. I have never lost it. It's never fallen out of my pocket, but it doesn't fit super snugly uh, when I'm wearing, you know, like either athletic pants or like climbing pants. Like I said, jeans, uh, military, like BDU or <laughs> OCP style material uh, works great. So yeah, overall great knife. So there you have it, the Kinzwa Tonto Everyday Carry Knife by Case. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you like the reviews, please hit like, subscribe, really helps us out. If you wanna see more uh, videos from Engearment, anything like this, uh, or if there's any gear you'd wanna see tested and reviewed, let us know and we'll see if we can make that happen. Take care and we'll see you next time.